What's up, guys? Adrian, the web scraping guy. If you need anything web scraped, including Google search results, email me, adrian at thewebscrapingguy.com. And yeah, today we're going to be scraping the Google search results. Um, I already have the first page scraped. The first page is pretty easy. Yeah, Google is pretty easy to scrape. Uh, but I wanted to see if I could get all the results. And unfortunately, you can only get 400, around 400 results. So that's the most that Google will return. So it's just kind of a bummer. But I will show you anyway how to do it. So I'm going to be using Puppeteer. So Google does return their own special, uh, I don't know, code, return type, whatever. So if we clear the console and we want to... Oh, I already scrolled a bunch on this one. Yeah, so search, and then they have, they return their own search stuff. So it's not JSON, it's not like HTML, it's uh, their own proprietary thingamabob. So uh, to make things easier and just to like to test it, then I just use Puppeteer because normally I'm vehemently against using Puppeteer when possible because it's a pain in the butt, it's expensive, yeah, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But to do a quick test, then yeah, just use Puppeteer. So uh, how we're going to do this is with Puppeteer, and I'm using JavaScript. You can use Python with it, whatever. And uh, one of the actual tricky parts was just figuring out how to scroll. And I was trying to figure out, like, oh, what's the container that they're using that is scrolling? And turns out that it's actually just the uh, HTML document, like the entire thing that is scrolling. So, uh, yeah, if you need to scroll, then you're just scrolling with the HTML. And I think I can demonstrate that here by, let's do docs, document, query selector. HTML. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, right there. Boom, boom, boom. So uh, that took a lot longer than I want to admit to figure out. And then we have this auto scroll, which I'll just, I'm going to put this whole repo up uh, in the description anyway. Um, but. Yeah, we have this whole auto scroll function, and this use and this you can use for Google Maps as well. Same sort of idea. I mean, anything I guess that if you need to scroll infinite, infinitively, if you need to scroll continuously, if there's an infinite scroll, you can use that function. Then when you get Google's a little bit weird, so they have an auto scroll, but then eventually you get hit with the more results. So then we're just going to query. Uh, you know, all the H3s, whichever text content includes more results, then we want to click on that one. And we want to continually do it. And so that's what this uh, function does here, like load more results, uses a set interval. I mean, uh, to be honest, I used ChatGPT to come up with this code. So uh, shout out to ChatGPT. Um, then, I don't know why, but I needed to include this wait right here. Get the HTML when everything is said and done, close all the pages, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then we just parse everything. So then you just get all the H3s because as you can see here, all of these are H3s. So all of those are H3s. And then to get the, so then I get the uh, title, which is just the H3 really easy. And then I get the um, href here. So I go up a parent, so child here. And then the, the A tag is the parent. So I get H3, yeah, loop through the H3s and then get the parent, get the link, and then just push all of that into an array, and then we have all of the stuff there. And I will run this thing and we can see it in motion. I'll probably pause the video because it might take a little bit of time, but it's going to be, yep, just going automatically. And then the more results, it's going to wait a little bit. It's probably a way that you can fix that waiting and then just continues to go. So I'll pause this and then resume it when it's done. Okay, so that finished running and we get, uh, I can't really tell how many items there were. I should have logged the number after, but around 400, pretty sure, because there's 288 more items there that's not showing. So yeah. So in, in this query, we were searching, trying to search for all the Crunchbase companies because uh, they 
all of them have, you know, their crunchbase.com slash organization slash and then the organization name. So I'm trying to query all of them and I'm sure there's ways I can find to uh, eventually get all of them. Uh, it's just a little bit more of a pain, but I was hoping that I could just scrape all of the Google search results. But anyway, so uh, that's the output and that's it. So I'll put, post this code for you as well. But yeah, if you need anything web scraped, hit me up, Adrian at the web scraping guy.com. Thanks.